When looking at the Patricia interface, there are a few areas we need to take note of. Let's open a case and take a look. Whenever you are dealing with case records, financial records or client records, all parts of the active window relates to only the specific record you are dealing with. In our example, we can see that we have different areas that we can click on, and each of these areas relate to the current open case. Information in Patricia is grouped into different pages within Patricia. Each page can be accessed by clicking on the button found in the vertical menu to the left of the screen. In this matter, I wish to access all the documents that relate to the case. To do so, I simply need to click on the document page button. When I do this, the content area is updated to now show the documents list. When you access a page, take note that sub options appear. These additional options give you extended functionality that relate to the specific page you are working on. Each page area is divided into different sections as well. These sections can be expanded or collapsed by clicking on the plus or minus symbol next to the section heading. Do note that certain sections will only become visible once data has been entered. All actions within a record are undertaken using the command buttons found on the bottom left of the screen. Click the command button to initiate an action such as add, edit, delete, refresh or close, or to open additional windows such as log or print. These action buttons are context sensitive, which means they may or may not be available depending on the active page. When a command button is unavailable, the dimmed appearance indicates that it cannot be used. In certain areas you have the option to change how files are viewed and organized. Columns can be sorted by clicking on the column heading. The display order can then be changed by dragging the column heading to a different location. You can also add additional column headings by right clicking on the heading text and selecting a new value. 